Number 9. Given that tan theta on 2 equals t, the expression for 1 plus sine theta minus cos theta all over 1 plus sine theta plus cos theta in terms of t is a, b, c, or d. Now, there's a nice little way of remembering the t formula. Let's draw a right angle triangle up here. Oops, that's very right angle. There we go. Okay, so this is my theta. t squared there and a 1 plus t squared there. Alright, so sine of theta equals 2t over 1 plus t squared and the cos of theta equals 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And of course tan is 2t over 1 minus t squared but we won't be using that in this case. So this expression becomes 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t squared minus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Let's write this expression it's all over 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t squared plus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Okay, now putting this over a common denominator of 1 plus t squared, we get 1 plus t squared plus 2t minus 1 minus t squared. Put a bracket around that. And then over 1 plus t squared, which will be divided by, now this is going to be 1 plus t squared plus 2t plus 1 minus t squared, okay, all over 1 plus t squared. Inverting and multiplying, these, these guys will go out, and we get 1 plus t squared plus 2t minus 1 plus 2t plus t squared, all over, this is 1 plus t squared plus 2t plus 1, minus t squared. Alright. Now this will be equal to, now you'll notice the 1's will go out, but we're going to get 2t squared plus 2t over, now the t squareds go out, and we get 2t plus 2. 2t plus 2. Taking the highest common factor of 2t here, we get 2t outside of t plus 1, and taking out the 2, we get t plus 1. And that cancels out with that, and that cancels out that, and you just get t, which was d.